Hey, I'm Kez Bracey, this is Tuts Plus. Welcome to Figma Vector Tips. Figma has a really amazing functionality with its vector creation called Vector Networks. So here I've got a polygon, something that's fairly common in vector editing programs. I'm gonna hit this button up here to edit this object and we can see all of the nodes here. And normally in almost every vector editing program, if you have one node, it can have only two lines coming from it. One here and one here. But with Figma, we can go beyond just having those two lines coming from each point. So I'm gonna grab the pen tool up here. And what I can do is I can start drawing extra lines in between these points. So I can make quite complex vector shapes because of the fact that I'm no longer restricted to just those two elements. And now because I have a separate shape in the center here, if I want to, I can grab this bucket tool and I can delete that fill. So we have a completely different shape to what we started out with. You can copy and paste existing SVG code directly into Figma and it will create a layer for you with that SVG shape in place. So if I go to code pen here, this little SVG card that I've found, I can copy this code, go back to Figma, then all I have to do is paste. And just like that, the entire SVG illustration is carried over and pasted into the project. You can select any vector in your design. You can right click it and choose copy as SVG. Then that will give you code that you can go ahead and paste directly into the HTML or the code for whatever type of project that you're working on. So that's three quick tips to help you work with vectors in Figma. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.